So what is going on, guys? Got a pretty cool feature that was not listed in the release notes for this build. Let's dive into it. So as you can see here, when the leader finishes a race in a night session, I don't know if it's at all tracks, but fireworks in iRacing. It's pretty freaking sweet. It looks good. Fireworks are three-dimensional. And it's really well done. The audio is a little loud though, and it doesn't quite seem to fluctuate depending on where you are on the racetrack. It's at like one set volume, no matter how far away or how close you are to the fireworks. But I mean, it looks so good. It's a cool little add-on, a nice little unlisted and unmentioned feature with the X11's release. And uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool as you can see for yourself. I mean, it's, it, it looks really good. So. Thank you, iRacing. This is really cool. Share it around, guys. Check it out at any um, nighttime session after the race is completed for a majority of the tracks, I believe. I know it's confirmed at Thompson and Charlotte, at least. That's where I've seen it. But I'm willing to bet you they have introduced this in multiple other areas, um, if not just the free race track. So we get a nice little wide angle here for you guys. Uh, I mean, it, it works at any angle. works really well, it, like anywhere you look at it. If you pause it in the middle of the sequence or rewind a little bit, sometimes it does mess it up a little bit. The thing that triggers the sequence is if you go back to the start of the final... No, when you, when, if you go back to the point where the leader crosses the start finish line, that's what seems to trigger it every time to restart the sequence. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and hopefully I have some more videos coming up with the new build and whatnot, but um, all kinds of really cool and exciting features in this build that are uh, a lot of fun. So, we'll make a little spotlight video of it and whatnot. So, take it easy, guys. Until next time, it's been Ian. Peace.